in this topic we are going to discuss one of the moderating variable that affects domestic and international human resource management which is the industry type there are two types of industry when we are talking about differences between domestic and international human resource management uh there could be an mne may be operating in a multi domestic industry or it may be operating in a global industry what is a multi domestic industry multi domestic industry is the one in which an international organization is operating in the form of small domestic organizations in various different countries uh they do not need to have an overarching perspective they don't need to have an integrated coordination between different units for example coca cola coca cola is uh, operating in pakistan as in a domestic market coca cola mein pakistan mein unki kitni sales hoti hain kitne uh, jo hain wo unke consumers hain that does not affect how coca cola is being sold in france or in china or in australia so it becomes a small domestic market and coca cola sell, selling all over the world is a collection of all those domestic markets put together the second type of industries is a global industry a global industry is the one which has an overarching framework is the one which must integrate activities on a worldwide basis uski example aapko ek airline se mil sakti hai ki airline jo hai wo ek domestic market mein nahi operate kar sakti airline has to operate in an international market they cannot be domestic they have to be global all right so uh, that is an example of a global industry so if you are working in a global industry you will have to be more conscious about integration between your human resource function you will have to have more harmony you will have to have more coherence between your human resource function because you need to have an overarching effect on your global businesses whereas in a multi domestic market what can be done is that each domestic market can be taken as a small subsidiary and it does not affect that in that particular domestic market the hr policies they must be integrated with the international policies because they are operating in different units all over the world laurent has uh, given uh, five steps of making a uh, human international human resource a global concept uh, what has been suggested uh, number 1 is that the parent organization recognizes that its hrm reflects some assumptions and values of own home culture aapke apni parent country jo hai wo apne culture se detach nahi ho sakti so jab bhi aap kisi naye mulk mein ja ke kaam karenge ye assumption aapko apne saath rakhni chahiye ki aap ka kuch cultural uh, variables aur kuch cultural dimensions dynamics aapke saath hi jayenge then the parent organization it recognizes that its own particular ways are neither universally better nor worse than others aap jis tarah se kaam apne mulk mein karte hain ye zaruri nahi hai ki wo complete hain wo uh, absolute hain wo universally applicable hain unme kuch strengths bhi hongi unme kuch weaknesses bhi hongi so ye agar aap accept kar lete hain to ye possibility hai ki aap ihrm बेहतर तरीके से कर सकते हैं द थर्ड इज दैट योर पेरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिकग्नाइज दैट इट्स फॉरन सब्सिडरीज मे प्रेफर टू मैनेज पीपल इन देयर ओन वे सो ये जरूरी नहीं है कि वो आपके ही स्टाइल से आपके पेरेंट कंट्री के स्टाइल से ही लोगों को मैनेज करें आप उनको ये लेवरेज दें कि वो अपने मुल्क में जो लोग काम कर रहे हैं उनको अपने तरीके से भी 
मैनेज करें देन द हेड क्वार्टर इज विलिंग टू एक्नोलेज कल्चरल डिफरेंसेज एंड टेक स्टेप्स टू मेक दैम डिस्कसबल एंड देयर फोर यूजबल सो कल्चरल डिफरेंसेज को आपने एक्नोलेज करना है एंड फाइनली ऑल पार्टीज बिलीव दैट फॉर क्रॉस कल्चरल लर्निंग इन्वाइट्स मोर क्रिएटिव एंड इफेक्टिव वेज ऑफ मैनेजिंग पीपल सो इफ यू अप्लाई दीज स्टेप्स टू योर इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट एक्टिविटीज इट इज मोर लाइकली दैट यू विल बी एबल टू मैनेज दीज एक्टिविटीज मोर इफेक्टिवली